Alon RNI is an IP accessible interface to the OpenLDV driver layer. OpenLDV connects Windows PC software to manage and monitor LonWorks networks. Applications such as OpenLNS, IZOT NetServer, LonScanner, and NodeUtil are example applications that depend on OpenLDV. This screen tutorial describes the steps to use the RNI feature on your smart server. To follow along, your smart server and PC must be configured for compatible IP access on your LAN network. There's a getting started video to get you to the starting point if you need it. Check the notes below. Before starting, your PC must have OpenLDV network driver installed. If you are running IZOT CT or other IZOT Net Server applications, you probably have it already installed. Use the Programs and Features Control Panel application on your Windows PC if you're not sure to determine this. This URL is worth a bookmark on your browser. The Tools for Network Integrators has links to various software packages like OpenLDV and NodeUtil. The OpenLDV driver is a standard Windows installation application. You need the driver, not the full SDK. The NodeUtil application does not have an installer. It is an archive that you should unzip into your LonWorks bin directory where the path environment variable will find it. Here are the top level steps we will perform. First, we will enable the RNI feature for your smart server from the configuration UI. Next, using the LonWorks Interfaces 32 control panel applet, we will define the RNI devices. Finally, we will use the enabled and defined RNI devices with applications like NodeUtil and LonScanner protocol analyzer. Get started by logging into your smart server. In this network, there is no DNS server present, so we need to use a dotted decimal notation in the address bar. In the Smart Server Configuration UI, the LON tab is our focus for the RNI configuration. The Smart Server will support up to four networked adapters directly connected. Each is assigned an interface identity index with its order of discovery. These identities are fixed once established. The best practice is to sequence the order by hot plugging the network adapters in the order to establish the channel identities the first time you power up your smart server. If you have the LON tab in focus, refresh the page after you install a USB adapter. Then you will see it enumerated in these tables. These identities persist across reboots so long as the single LON talk interface option is not selected. If you have more than one adapter, do not use this option. By default, the RNI feature is not enabled, so we will select all four shown here and commit the configuration with the Update button. The internal IP70 channel will see all traffic on all adapters when the system is operated in DMM mode because the IP70 to FTP routers underneath will be configured to operate as repeaters. Once your smart server is switched to IMM mode, routers are typically configured to isolate traffic. If this is the case, to monitor the traffic on a segment, you will need to use a LON scanner enabled RNI on that specific adapter and not the IP70 RNI. On your PC, access the Windows Control Panel and launch the LonWorks Interfaces 32 applet. Select and add the type of RNI you want to create. Name the RNI that is something memorable to you. For the IP address, use the named IP address if DHCP and DNS server exists. This is not the case in this particular network, so a four decimal dotted address is used. The port is set to match the corresponding interface in the configuration UI. MD5 authentication can be used for an added layer security so that only users with the MD5 key can access your RNI. To confirm everything is properly configured, use the test button. Repeat the steps for each interface you wish to use the RNI as attachment points. If you are using IZOT CT to manage the network with multiple channel segments, enabling the IP70 RNI channel may be all you really need. With these steps complete, RNI assets are available for applications to use using OpenLDV. Let's fire up NodeUtil and LonScanner and interact with a device and see how this works. You need to use the x.default name that was defined in the LonWorks Interfaces app when opening the device. Here, I capture a service pin from a target device and interact with that device in NodeUtil. Experienced LON scanner users may notice the fact that the target is sending to a device that is not powered or connected. So let's have a quick recap. 
The RNI feature is not enabled by default on the smart server. You need to use the configuration UI and the LAN tab to enable one or more RNI resources if you wish to use OpenLDV. The LANWORKS Interfaces 32 control panel applet is used to name the devices and define the IP addresses and ports that are used for these RNI resources. Applications use the named x.default assets to open these interfaces. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.